Hey everybody, welcome back to Crimson and Cream Machines 12 Teams in 12 Days as we preview Oklahoma's October 20th opponent, the Kansas Jayhawks. Last year the Jayhawks were 2-9 on the regular season and suffered a 41-17 blowout loss to the Sooners. Overall, Kansas is 27-69-6 against Oklahoma and this year looks to be that 70th loss as the Jayhawks come to Norman. Charlie Weiss takes over as the new head coach for Kansas, bringing an end to the Turner Gill era, which was an absolute misery for Kansas football fans. Weiss brings with him from Notre Dame, Dane Chris, a quarterback whom Weiss recruited when he was the head coach for the Irish. After an injury play career at Notre Dame, Chris will come in and try to revamp a Kansas offense that was absolutely atrocious in 2011. His biggest asset may be running back James Sims, who averaged four yards per carry for the Jayhawks. A stat that should be scary to all Kansas fans and let you know just how far they have sunken since Mark Mangino took them to the Orange Bowl last year. In the third quarter alone, Kansas was outscored by a combined score of 145 to 38. Charlie Weiss, Dane Chris, James Sims certainly have a lot of work to do to try to bridge that gap. On the defensive side of the ball, it doesn't get any better for Kansas. In fact, it probably gets a little bit worse as opponents scored an average of 43.8 points per game last year on the Jayhawks. Possibly even more atrocious with that opposing quarterbacks completed nearly 70% of their passes against the Jayhawks secondary. That's going to be looked upon this year to try to lead this defense. In that secondary, the guy to keep an eye on is safety Bradley McDougal, who led the team in tackles last year as well as picking off two interceptions. So the fear factor for this game is it sits in a tough spot for Sooners. It's right after the Texas game and just before the Notre Dame game. It's a home game for Oklahoma, which means that there's very little chance OU loses this game, but again, a significant chance the Sooners get off to a slow start and look sloppy. You want to come out of this game healthy as it's sandwiched in between two of the biggest games of the regular season, the Texas Longhorns and the Irish. This game will get very little fanfare, we get very little attention as Oklahoma will be looking behind the Texas and looking ahead to Notre Dame. That poses a potential threat for OU to be sloppy on October 20th. SB Nation's CrimsonandCreamMachine.com. I'm Matt Holfeld.